Namaste and a very good morning dear children. I hope you are all set for your English class today. Now children, today we are going to start with creative writing and we are going to pick up the topic picture composition. Now before we start writing a picture composition, let's find out what exactly is picture composition. Picture composition is basically a form of writing where a picture is given to the children and they are asked either to describe the picture that means you have to look at the picture and you have to describe what all is happening in the picture or you have to write a story after looking at the picture today we will focus on describing the picture in the picture composition okay we will learn how to describe a picture while writing a picture composition now the points we have to keep in mind while writing the picture composition first of all we have to look at the given picture very carefully and try to identify the minute details the little little details that are shown in the picture secondly we have to see let's say if some person is there or children are there or more people are there what facial expressions are there what facial expressions they all are having what kind of clothes they are wearing what kind of actions they are doing or what is their posture okay we have to take into account all these details also thirdly whatever ideas and thoughts that come to your mind while look while you look at the picture you have to first of all jot them down roughly just look at the picture you know and whatever thoughts are coming to your mind while looking at the picture just make short notes just write down roughly all those points okay and then when you begin your picture composition you have to mention them you have to connect all these points and write a beautiful picture composition they should be written in a proper sequence beta the sequence is very important while writing any creative writing fine let's move on to the fourth point now after you have written your picture composition okay now you cannot just leave your picture composition like that you have to bring all your thoughts together and you have to give a proper ending proper closing to your picture composition okay whenever we write any creative writing may it be paragraph writing may it be picture composition first of all always remember you have to give introduction i'll show you how we begin the introduction in the picture composition just now okay first is your introduction then very important part is your sequence how you are mentioning your how you are writing your creative writing and how you are mentioning all the thoughts and you know all the thoughts that have come to your mind while writing a picture composition you have to connect them properly in a proper sequence and lastly how you are concluding your picture composition or how you are concluding your paragraph writing it plays a very important role okay so keep that in mind now let's learn how we have to write a picture composition through a sample now let's look at the picture that i have given you here okay now when i'm looking at the picture certain questions are coming to my mind the first one is what is the family son and parents doing can you see a family is running on the track so this is the first thing that i observe and this is the question comes to my mind so i will jot down roughly what action are they doing okay secondly what are the children in the top left hand corner of the picture doing can you see where the family is running there on the top left side the children are doing some activity so i will jot that down roughly okay then the third question that comes to my mind is 
what are the people in the top right hand corner of the picture doing can you see beside the children there are certain people who are doing some activity okay so i will write that down also now the fourth thing what is the young couple doing there is a young couple also they are doing some activity what are they doing they are walking their dog so i will write that down okay so you have to keep in mind that these small small details keep on writing so that when you write down your final picture composition you have in mind what exactly do you have to write now the last thing that i observe when i'm looking at the picture is an elderly couple so what is the elderly couple doing i am going to jot that down in my rough notes and then now come let's move towards the final writing of the picture composition now the first thing that we do when we begin with the writing is that we give a picture composition a suitable title which is related to the picture here the picture is of a park so i will give the title a beautiful park which i have already done when we are describing a picture in the picture composition the first line that i have written already it remains the same the picture shows a beautiful park or you can also write down this is the picture of a beautiful park after that i have written it is a very interesting place to visit and a lot of people go there every day now children this i have written a general statement which acts as my introduction to the picture my general statement is related to the park okay it is very important to write some inputs from your side that means from general some general statements from your side as they will always get you extra marks the teacher will think that the child has not only you know written about the picture he has not not just described the picture but he has also used his own creativity to add some inputs some general statements from his side okay and this will give you an extra edge over the others come now let's move to our first question my first question was what is the family of the son and the parents doing so here goes the picture shows a family jogging around the park another thing that i observed was they are wearing sports wear sports clothes or active wear anything you can write down now you remember another general statements i statement i come up with i have picked up jogging from here so i have written jogging in the park keeps us healthy and makes us feel good and fresh so again one general statement i have added now i'm going to move again to my picture there is a playground too see i have observed every minute detail of the picture the children are playing on the swings and on the slides you remember my question what are the children doing on the top left i had said that question so the children are playing on the swing now my next question was what are the people doing on the top right if you remember so now here comes some people are doing karate or aerobic exercises to keep fit can you see some of them their hands are up in the picture so i thought maybe they're doing karate or some form of aerobic exercise now some people are taking their dog for a walk while others are sitting on the bench and relaxing so i have joined both the activity of the young couple and the activity of the old couple and i've made it into one sentence now this has covered my whole picture and as i told you now i'm going to give it a proper conclusion there is something for everyone to do at the park or you can also write down i would love to visit a park like the one in the picture so this gives a proper and apt closing to my picture composition i hope the picture composition is clear to everyone how you have to go about it and how you all have to write children remember while writing the picture composition try to make your sentence keep your sentences simple and always remember you have to begin a sentence with a capital letter and please don't forget to put a full stop after your sentence ends lastly imagination and observation is the key to an excellent picture composition 
so please remember that thank you and have a nice day children until next time